Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I'm here with a poster view for The Beast. I'm so excited to show you guys my finished um, project. This is the first princess or prince panel that I have finished this year from um, the lovely Mandy Manzano um, that is by Diamond Art Club. Unfortunately, they are, they most of the princesses have been discontinued. However, The Beast will be coming back in stock i believe in june diamond art club actually um printed a um, restocking schedule and i will put that below in the description when they expect to have the beast back in stock so this was done for drilla beast and i will just start to roll this out because i do have it rolled drills out um this was done for drilla beast 2021 and this is a beast. I don't even know if I can get this fully on camera, <laughs> but I am so thrilled with this. Um, it's it is just so it, it is so beautiful it's he's his eyes are so like so intense if you just even look at them like i think his gaze goodness, his gaze you can even see that in the camera eyes <laughs> is so fierce and i said it in my other ribbon chat i would think that my little two-year-old um, would be afraid of the beast, but instead he's rather rather entertained with the beast. He likes to growl at it. He gets really excited when he sees it. So this took me about a month to complete um, in the month of February. I actually finished this the night um, of February 28th. Um, I started it on, oh, I'd, I'd say the second week of February. So it did take me about three weeks. Um, however, I did finish this project and decided I didn't like how the rose came out. I wanted, I had done it with a bees and, um, I decided that I wanted to redo it in crystals. So I picked them all off and waited for crystals to come in. And so I finished it a week later as soon as those came in. If you can see this rose, I'll show it up to you. It is so pretty with the crystals. I love how it shines. This um, this pink part right here, um, I couldn't quite find an equivalent, but I did use the coral pink um, from DP with sparklers and it, I just don't, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it actually blends a lot better in real life and it, um, it, it has a purple shimmer to it in this picture and it is just gorgeous. Um, I did add some moonstone down in here, some other sparklers and mostly ABs in the stem. So, um, as far as any other enhancements that I did for this, I did, um, add, this is so big, it's kind of hard to like <laughs> show it. I did add in his eyes, um, there is a B and then crystals. So I had originally intended to do just two ABs, but, um, these crystals just looked so fun and I think it actually I don't know if you can tell but I think it kind of gives depth to his eye that they're two different types of drills I did replace um the 445 which was a lighter um yellow with ABs and you can't actually really see it when you look at it but there's two different kinds of yellow ABs in here um but but there are <laughs> there are two different colors of yellow so i just basically replaced that um you can kind of see down here this this is um in ab's where it wasn't necessarily the color that was in ab's then another thing that i did switch was up here in the smoke i added i switched the 550s out for an ab and I like it. I don't know if I would necessarily do it again, 
um, just because I think these ABs are more metallic than shimmery. So there is this light purple AB, um, if you can see that. And this, this really kind of sticks out. But then again, there's these parts of gray that stick out in it. And so I don't know that it necessarily, that it doesn't look good. It just, it just doesn't really stand out. I don't, I don't know that it was necessarily needed. Okay, so one of the changes that I made to this as far as um, how they did the rendering of the image. Um, so because this is a stained glass and they're kind of taking that effect, there were some lines I think sometimes that are in the painting that get transferred but don't necessarily make sense within the painting. So if you look at the, the kind of the picture, you can see right here that he has kind of these lines that they fit with the image. But on the actual painting, I don't know that they made sense. So originally, I had just followed the schematic and I had put these lines in. Um, but looking at it, I thought, I just don't really like those lines. So I ended up um, just going through it and shading it so that it was more cohesive. And you can kind of see, um, because there is dark behind some of these drills, but when you're looking at it in general, you can't tell that that was supposed to be a darker line. Um, the, the rose is definitely, I think, what catches your attention, and that is kind of what his eyes and the rose, I think, in this picture when you're looking at it in real life. So I'm actually going to get on to an actual review of the painting because this has just been kind of what I did with it. So this is a 46 by 137. As far as the drill quality goes, this canvas, just the drills were amazing. Um, it's, it's Diamond Art Club standard. So like I, I know um, those of you that have used Diamond Art Club just know for the most part, like their canvases are really soft. Like you know, as far as a review goes, I don't want to go too much into detail as far as the Diamond Art Club because they do have a standard that is, I think, higher than a lot of other companies as far as their their canvases and their drills and their drill like replacement if you have any issues. I did not have any issues with any of the drills. Um, like I said, I did order some additional ABs to add to it, but that is always your choice. I think the ABs that Diamond Art Club included um, did add some beautiful enhancements. They did have a pink AB um, that was really pretty. They had a yellow AB that was scattered throughout and um, I thought that was that was really pretty. And then there was also this purple AB that was sparkly and I think overall I think they include enough ABs for people to make your painting shine for people that aren't necessarily loving the sparkle of ABs. I mean, okay, let's get real here. If you like diamond painting, you obviously must like some sparkle, but there's some people that like the whole thing <laughs> glittered and I, I love, I love spicing up paintings. So, um, I always tend to add more. Um, I think this, is was just overall such a fun project to do. I would say I'm not really sure in, in my review, I did have to say the one thing that I kept thinking was, I really wish they would have made the beast the same size as the other princesses. So if you look at Belle, for instance, she is much, um, she's she's smaller she's definitely there's she is a 16 by um well a 42 by 125 and the beast is 137 by 46. so um overall like they're pretty similar and you could say yeah well the beast is definitely bigger than Belle but if you're wanting to put your princess panels all together 
I'm not really sure why they made the beast so much larger. I think in the end they'll they'll look nice, but the beast is noticeably larger. I just wanted to to make that make you aware of that if you'd like to complete both of them. Yeah, so let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see in reviews. Um I I kind of just wanted to show the ones that I've done and kind of what I've done with them and my thoughts with, like I said, with Diamond Art Club, they have such beautiful canvases and their rendering, it, everything just turns out so well. I don't have <laughs> many complaints with it. Um, like, like I don't really have any except for that, the size. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm just really, happy to show you guys the beast and if you have any questions let me know i know this review might be just completely all over the place um but i'm i'm new so <laughs> i'm always learning and let me know if there's anything better that i can do so i will see you guys in another video bye